Hello fellow YouTuber. Have you been making videos, seemingly doing everything right in order to get chapters showing up in your video timelines and yet they don't appear? Where are they? And to make matters worse, you've been hunting for a solution to this problem for a while and yet for all the videos you've watched and forums you've scoured, you still can't get it to work. Damn you all to hell! <laughs> and YouTube support? <laughs> not if you're a small channel who's not monetized. There's no way to reach them directly because apparently we're not worthy. They just point you over to the forums where we all just talk amongst ourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. And some people suggesting solutions that are actually just regurgitations of YouTube's generic help page. So at the end of the day, nothing changes and you just have to continue on without YouTube chapters working for you. Trust me, I've been there, done all of this. So I feel your pain. But today, my friend, is a new day. This is gonna be a great day. Because I have finally figured this out. I have now gotten YouTube chapters working on my channel. So hey, if it can work for me, I'm confident that this solution can work for you. And even if the solution I'm sharing with you today, for some reason, still doesn't get YouTube chapters working for you on your channel, I've built a workaround, a nifty little template that can serve as a substitute for the real thing. But we'll get to that option at the end. First, let's solve this problem. Shall we? This bad is a problem. First things first, before we apply the magic trick that worked for me, let's make sure that you're doing everything else correctly in order to ensure YouTube chapters show up in your video timelines. If chapters haven't been working for you and you did even the most basic research, at minimum just Googling YouTube chapters not working, I assume you've come across this page before. But just in case you haven't seen it, let's run through it super quick. In your video description, you need to manually write out your timestamps, basically the time code and a brief title for what that chapter should be called. And there are three rules to keep in mind here. One, make sure that the first timestamp you list starts with 00, 00. Two, your video should have at least three timestamps and they should each be listed on their own line chronologically. Number three, the minimum length for each chapter is 10 seconds. Here's an example of how I've written out my time codes for this very video you're watching right now. Note that you don't have to add a dash or anything after the time code. Moving along, if you scroll down on your video details page after you've uploaded your new video, make sure allow automatic chapters and key moments is actually unchecked. This may seem unintuitive, but the reason you want this unchecked is because you don't want YouTube's algorithm to decide where your chapters are going to be. No, that's why we manually input them in our video description. So we are dictating exactly where we want our chapters to start and finish. And while we're on this subject, I recommend adjusting this in your channel settings. Simply click on settings, then click on advanced settings. And the first thing you see is what you want your default setting to be for automatic chapters. Just make sure it's unchecked here so that every time you upload a new video, that allow automatic chapters and key moments will be unchecked by default. So you don't have to mess with this each time. One thing I should mention here that's not explicitly stated in this Google support doc is that in order for chapters to appear in your videos, you need to have all eligible features enabled. There's another Google support doc that outlines this in more detail. Now, in terms of unlocking these features, YouTube has kind of shifted their eligibility requirements from time to time. So this can get a bit iffy, as in, who knows, maybe six months from now, they'll change these requirements. But for the time being, these are the requirements they currently state. For standard features, including video uploads, playlist creation, adding collaborators to playlists, adding new videos to existing playlists, the only requirement is that your channel is free of active community guidelines strikes. So hopefully you're in the clear there. Then we've got their intermediate features, which include videos longer than 15 minutes, custom thumbnails, live streaming. Hopefully you already have this enabled as the only thing you really need to do to unlock these features is verify your phone number. And finally, for advanced features, this is where things get a bit murky. They're kind of vague here, like what exactly does upload more videos daily mean? Especially since they never mentioned that you're only allowed to upload a certain amount of videos daily in the first place. Also, even though I have advanced features enabled, currently I still do not have the option to A-B test different thumbnails. But anyway, all of that being said, check your account, again, right here under settings, 
channel feature eligibility to make sure that all three of these, standard, intermediate, and advanced, are enabled. Because if they're not, your chapters are probably not going to work. Oh, and one thing I wanna quickly mention here, as I watched many videos and read comments about why YouTube chapters are not working, some people were proclaiming that chapters only work for monetized channels, basically channels that have been accepted into the YouTube partnership program, but that's simply not true. So take heart, if you're a small channel, like mine, just getting started, I'm here to tell you that at least at the current time, chapters can and should work on your channel even if you haven't yet reached monetization status. Okay, all of that being said, assuming all three of these feature eligibility levels are enabled on your account, and you've correctly entered your timestamp details in your video description, as I explained earlier, YouTube chapters should work on your channel. And yet, I did all of these things before, and still YouTube chapters did not show up on my videos this past year. Which leads us to my breakthrough discovery. It started with me taking a close look at one little vague note that was included in that Google Doc that I mentioned earlier. It said, note, not all videos are eligible for automatic chapters and not all eligible videos will have automatic chapters. If the channel has any active strikes or if the content may be inappropriate to some viewers, the video chapters feature won't be available. I reckon most of us who have found this page have glossed over this one little side note but I kind of stared at it for longer than usual and I gave it some extra thought. I was like, I post tutorial videos about creativity and productivity. There's nothing really inappropriate that I'm posting here, like nothing political or controversial at all. So I figured that can't be the reason why chapters aren't showing up for me. But then I zeroed in my attention on the specific phrase, if the channel has any active strikes. And then I had a theory and proceeded to test my theory. And to my delight, my theory worked. Okay, so what was my theory and test? Thing is, even though I just started making tutorial videos about creativity and productivity this year, I actually created this channel way back in 2014. And in that 10 year span, I posted all sorts of videos before I really took this channel seriously. And I remember, I had posted a few videos that got copyright strikes and were actually removed. So they were removed and taken down but when I scrolled back through my channel content, I noticed these videos were still in my list, even though they're not publicly visible at all. And here's where my theory came into play. When I read that little throwaway note that mentioned if the channel has any active strikes, all this time I had assumed that because I'm able to upload just fine and there haven't been any of these copyright issues with anything I've posted for years now, that of course I don't have any active strikes. But then I thought, every time I upload a new video, what if YouTube system scans my entire video library and not just videos that are public, but basically anything that exists in my channel content section. And if it finds anything resembling a strike, even from ages ago, perhaps it triggers a mechanism to stop timeline chapters from working anywhere on my channel. Seems kind of weird to me, but I was like, okay, let me go back and delete these three videos that got taken down years ago. If you have some old videos like these anywhere in your channel's history that have been taken down, most likely because it contained copyrighted material, go find them in your channel content section. Every option should be grayed out in terms of editing the title or description. So literally the only option you have for these videos is to click and confirm, delete forever. One of these videos I posted way back at the start of 2016 was a scene from Battle Royale, one of my favorite Japanese movies. And thing is, it got 70,157 views. I remember at the time thinking I could delete the video from my library, but I thought, hmm, I'll just leave it there because that had helped pad my stats to reach the required 4,000 watch hours to reach monetization status. But thing is, in order to reach monetization status, YouTube only counts watch hours in the past 365 days. So even if that video accrued thousands of watch hours by itself back in 2016, since the video is no longer public, it's literally providing me zero benefit by hanging onto it in my channel content. Hence, I deleted all three of these videos and put my theory to the test. 
I immediately proceeded to post a test video privately where I set up chapter timestamps in the video description, just as I always did before. And lo and behold, the chapter showed up in my video. Hallelujah! Just like that, problem solved. That's it, we did it! We did it! <laughs> And as an added bonus, I went back and looked at some of my earlier tutorial videos from this past year, and voila! Timeline chapters were showing up just fine in all my other videos too. So basically, by deleting those three old videos that were taken down due to copyright, just like that, the curse was lifted from my channel. So yeah, this is the gospel I am proclaiming today. I've never heard anyone suggesting this as the solution to this problem of YouTube chapters not working. So I reckon this is the first time you're hearing this too. Give it a whirl and definitely let me know if this solved your problem so that chapters are now showing up in the timelines of your YouTube videos. Now, if for some reason you've done everything I said in this video and chapters are still not showing up in your videos, I don't wanna leave you hanging. Due to all my frustrations with YouTube chapters not working for so long, before I discovered the solution I just shared with you today, I actually went to the lengths of building an Adobe Premiere motion graphic template, or Mogurt, for those of you who are familiar with the term, where you can quickly and easily add chapter labels to your videos. Now, since these labels would be baked into your actual video, they're obviously not interactive the way that YouTube's native chapters appear in the video timeline, when you mouse over them. But still, it's way better than nothing. And I'm offering it to you today for free, actually. I've built a light version with no bells and whistles, but quick and easy to get started with. And I've built a pro version that is fully customizable with tons of options so you can really go wild and make it your own. Throughout this video, actually, you may have noticed in the top left corner, I've been using the light version to display the current chapter we're in and the time progression within that chapter. But just to give you an idea of what the pro version can do, check this out. You can make it look like this, or this, you can place it over here, maybe down here, maybe down here, or you can feature additional notes, perhaps listing off upcoming chapters. The possibilities are truly endless, and I'd love to walk you through how to use it, but in the interest of not making this video too long, I'm gonna make a separate tutorial video that shows you all that you can do to customize the Chapters Pro Mogurt to fit your own brand. I'm offering the Pro version for just $10, and if you join the Massive Creativity Substack, you actually get 10% off not only the Chapters Pro Mogurt, but 10% off all purchases made from my website at jcaslow.com. But yeah, first things first, if YouTube chapters have not been working for you, do what I explained in today's video, and hopefully chapters will finally magically appear in your timelines, just as they did for me. Let me know how things work out. All right, if you've gotten any value from today's video, hit that like button to let me know. And if you want to discover more solutions to the problems that plague us as creators out there in the creator economy, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Let's keep solving these problems and moving forward together. We together on this, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be one. Subscribe to the channel for more solutions and templates, ideas, inspiration, tips and tricks, and so much more. All right, see you in the next video.